Tori Hart recently spoke about why she never changed her last name after her divorce from her ex-husband, Kevin Hart. Now, she explained, because it's mine, first of all. Second of all, because Kevin never asked for it back. He don't want me to give it back, and he's not tripping. And third of all, my kids don't want me to change my name. Now, could you keep the last name of your ex-husband? Uh, or, or do you think that's a sign that people don't want to let it go? I don't think that's the case. I think it's up to him. What do y'all think? What do y'all think about this story? Yeah, I think it's up um, to, to her. You know, I think that sometimes when you become identified with that name and people know you as that, then you just go ahead and roll on into that still. Okay. Vivica, what were we going to say? Uh, and I, I just think that people know her now as Tori Hart. So, you know, um, it's her right to keep it. I mean, they were married. And if she wants to keep the last name, I don't see anything wrong with it, especially when she's established herself as Tori Hart. Thanks. Um, I think, you know, it, it is true that she's been with him since they were 19 years old, correct? Right. So not only is when she says it's my name, maybe not, you know, biologically, but she helped build the brand of that name. And so for her to, you know, it didn't work out with her and Kevin. That's fine. They're still friends. That's great. So if it's going to help her, and I know she says that, you know, it don't help me get no perks, but still she did put the, the footwork into helping him build the brand of that name. So if it can help her in any way, shape or form, I think she deserves that. Secondly, I think that I would, I personally would not want my children to um, have a different name than I, than me, unless they were older. You know what I'm saying? If I got a divorce and we were older and I took my name back, whatever, but I would want my kids and I to have the same name for a myriad of different reasons that we don't have time to go down the list. And third of all, if it's okay with Kevin's wife and she doesn't care and nobody cares, then what's the big deal? I can see if that's the only, if that, if the only issue could be that if Kevin's current wife feels a way about it, but so what you're a blended family. So at the end of the day, the heart name really is signature to everyone. I mean, you're a blended family. I, I agree. And I think it's really rude when people who have no relation to the family, the parties involved, ask a woman that has the last name of a celebrity, why don't you change your name back? It's none of your damn business, especially if you have kids with that person. Like that is, I think that's so mean when people pressure a woman that like she should just be feel throw, cast aside and now change her last name. Like you said, Selena, I, I I think there's something to be said about your children have that last name and you all, you all were yeah. a family and it's up to her. Like, what's the big deal? People get so caught up in that with other people it has nothing to do with them. It's really not that serious. My, my husband's ex-wife, she still keeps the last name Garris and so does his son. And, and personally, I like the fact that my stepson's last name is Garris because now my boys can identify even better with their brother. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that just because even if he wanted to change his last name back to his mom's last name, I'm not saying that that would make them any less brothers, but it's just, it's easier. And I just feel like it's a better connection. Just like I named my first son after his father. I'm not crazy about the name Kiwan. I'm not, <laughs> but I named my son after his father because I wanted that father son identity. I think that's something that has been missing in the black community. That's my own personal you know, thing. Not everybody has to do that. I don't, you know, no big deal. I love all the different fun names, but I just did that for me. So same thing goes for a last name. I feel like it's stronger and it says family and it says bond. You know what I'm saying? The black family is broken up enough. That's right. Why not keep families together? It's not a big deal. If, if they're all, I mean, I think Will Smith, that don't, doesn't his uh, first son still have the last name Smith? I think so. Yeah. So then there yeah. you go. Why not? Why not just keep the family together in that respect? It doesn't have to be that way, but if that's what that family chooses for that, I don't see anything wrong with it either. 